Whether you're a training executive, a classroom trainer, an instructional designer, a provider, you are part of a talented crew that makes opportunity and advancement take wing and soar to new heights. Scientifically, happiness is a choice if you apply a habit. But if you just try to choose happiness, it doesn't work. And what we're starting to find continually is that happiness was one of the greatest competitive advantages in the modern economy, raising literally every single business and educational outcome we know how to test for. I found everything about Sean Aker's talk to be inspiring, primarily because I could relate to so much of what he said. I like how he talked about focusing on happiness as one of the curses to increasing productivity, as well as how we can utilize that to change the way we behave or the way we perceive things throughout our life. The future is now! The future is now! The future is now! The future is now! I think L10 is a fantastic opportunity for everyone to get together and network, to share best practices, learn from each other, and just raise the bar for all our folks in the field. I love the opportunity to connect with like-minded people. I love the creative exchange of ideas. I love the workshops and the chance to learn. I love the opportunity to talk about what it is that we do. The value of the exhibit hall is kind of multi-layered. It's not just a place where people can come and take a, a look for solutions, but also for us as partner vendors to get a real sense of what people are looking for. The reason I love coming to the L10 meeting is, and I, and I come every year, it's because where else are you going to find like-minded individuals who are all facing the same challenges, the same successes, the same environments to be able to share and trade ideas and network and all learn and grow together. If you haven't met your Don Felder this week, there's still time. But I invite you to meet that person because I think that's really important. The value of mentoring and coaching and networking. You never know when you're going to need someone's help to get you back into that cockpit. And you never know when you're the person who's going to help somebody else get back into that cockpit. And I did. Nicole was inspiring to me on many levels. I think she connected for number one as a woman trying to progress and develop through my career. She inspired as a mother. I thought that she connected and inspired me as a teammate. So she hit on so many themes in one talk. I thought it was fantastic. If you are leading teams or if you are a part of a team, don't forget to remind each other to go ahead and just exhale and breathe, right? Change is a headwind. Don't try to over control it or overreact. Work on it together, loosen your grip as a team, and I guarantee you're going to get through it. Her answer was, make sure you've got a good mission, right? So here at Life Sciences, we got to know that we're doing more than just putting on a conference. Every one of us is trying to move forward helping a patient. And that was really cool at the end of her talk, too. She said, hey, I'm a patient. I appreciate you guys working at being a better professional. The Excellence Awards are so important to showcase your work and also, really importantly, to showcase your work with your clients. Carol Gantz and IC Axon. The award is the reflection of the potential impact that this program had on the community, initially with a commercial organization, but eventually to the patients that eventually get treated. I bring so many people into L10 because I believe in L10. A lot of great people here. This is my 20th L10 and I learn every year, and I learn from other folks, I learn from new folks, I learn from people that I've met before, and it's just a great place to network and learn. 